robots are getting smarter and more skillful. While it's kind of scary if the robots in question are these creepy headless robot dogs from Boston Dynamics, if they have wheels instead of those spidery legs and they're cleaning your house, I think that's okay. And a cheery, benevolent bot is what I'm expecting with the Roborock Q Revo, Roborock's brand new hot off the press robot floor cleaner. Ugh. Roborock recently sent me one of these new robots ahead of its launch to try out. So in this review, I'll share what's new about this bot, what makes it different from other Roborock devices. I'll test out its key features to see if they deliver the goods and I'll run it through some cleaning tests. Then I'll wrap things up by sharing the pros and the cons and tell you whether or not I think this would be a good investment for you. The Roborock Q Revo is a floor cleaning bot that can both vacuum and mop floors and take care of its maintenance. Unlike some other bots, this one uses dual spinning mopping pads instead of a vibrating flat pad to clean your floors, and that is one of its key differentiators. The device comes with the Rock Dock that will empty the dustbin and wash and dry the mops with warm air to prevent mildewing. The Q Revo seems to be positioned as a mid to high level floor bot that gives you about 80 to 90% of the features of some other bots in the Roborock family, but without the high price tags of bots like the S8 Pro Ultra and S7 Max V Ultra. The Q Revo sells for just around $899 US, while the other premium bots in that Roborock lineup sell for around $1,200 to $1,500. The other noticeable difference here is that there is just one roller brush under the Q Revo. Well, for example, on the S8, there's two. I'll see in my cleaning tests if that makes a difference. So many of the features of the Q Revo here are similar to Roborock's other offerings, but there are some notable differences in the Q Revo, and that's mainly with the mopping system. Previous floor mops uh, used Roborock's Vibra Rise system, which shakes a flat mopping pad over your floors. But the Q Revo here uses newer technology that uses these bigger, fluffier spinning pads. And these can clear your carpet fibers by seven millimeters, which is higher than a lot of robots and should be perfect for thicker carpets. Now to do this accurately, it won't come as any surprise that the Q Revo also has carpet detection technologies built right in. Speaking of carpet, this bot has a substantial 5,500 pascals of suction power, which is on the higher end for floor bots and only just a smidge under the Roborock S8's 6,000 pascals. The dock has some design improvements too that make it a little nicer than some other versions. It's taller and more narrow than other similar bot vacs, giving it more of an elegant look, which I've been after. The maintenance tanks across the front are covered by a nice fluted plastic panel here too. This vacuum and mopping duo also has quiet cleaning technology to reduce its overall noise. I can say I already found that this bot operates far more quietly than most, so does that mean it's not picking up as much debris? We'll find out when we get to the cleaning tests. The setup with every Roborock vacuum I've ever tried has been quick and easy. It's a simple matter of plugging it in and ensuring the base station can be in a location with a decent amount of space around it so the robot can come and go. The base station is quite large, like I said, and it can be a challenge to place, but this is the price we pay for all the fun features it comes with. Once the robot is connected to power and it has a partial charge, you can connect it to the free Roborock app. The app will become your command center for scheduling cleans and adjusting more of the advanced features. The app is really user friendly and it's easy enough to find anything you need. Your final setup step is to link the robot to your home's Wi-Fi using your smartphone and then send it out to map your house. During its initial mapping run, the Q Revo will roll quietly throughout your house and use its array of cameras and sensors to create an accurate virtual map. The Q Revo uses LiDAR navigation, which stands for light detection and ranging, and it essentially uses light to create a mapping plan of your home. Now, this is an extremely quick process, and the map that I got was really accurate after just one 25-minute jaunt. With a full map done in just minutes, you can then use the Roborock app to label your rooms and make any adjustments, and then you can create things like no-go zones if there are areas you want to keep your bot out of. Maybe one of the most advanced features of Roborock's new product here is its multifunctional dock, so let's take a closer look at it.
With both a clean water tank and a dirty water tank on top, plus a panel under those that holds the sealed vacuum bag, the design is efficient. The dock will scrub the mopping pads after every use, and it'll also clean them during a vacuum and mop outing to make sure things stay clean. After a cleaning, it will also dry the mops using warm air at 45 degrees Celsius. This helps speed up the drying process and it minimizes the development of things like mold or mildew, which can start to smell after a while. A full drying cycle does take four hours, though you can adjust it to be two or three hours instead, and it does run completely silently so it shouldn't bother anyone day or night. While there is an onboard dustbin, your base station will take care of cleaning it out and holding it in the vacuum bag. Roborock says you can go up to seven weeks without emptying that bag, depending on how often you're cleaning. For the mopping, the robot fills up a hidden onboard water tank from the larger tank in the docking station, which in total will hold enough water to mop just over 4,300 square feet. The base of the docking station can also be removed, making it easier to clean since the self-cleaning process can leave dirty residue in the tray. Okay, let's get to it. How well does the RoboRock QRevo clean? I run every single vacuum and mopping device that I get through exactly the same tests. I spread things like flour, oatmeal, crackers, and extra dog hair on both carpet and hard floors to see how well it'll vacuum. For the mopping, I'll spill small amounts of liquid and let some of those dry to create dried on stains. Let's start with the vacuum testing. This vacuum worked like a dream. It was easily able to vacuum up all of my dedicated spills and did a particularly great job of getting all of the flour from carpet fibers, which can be a tough task for a robot vacuum. It's possible to dial the suction up or down depending on how dirty or dusty your house is. This will also adjust the noise level, so if you're working during the day, you can run the vacuum on low and still get your clean in while you're taking conference calls. The mopping also worked really well, wiping up small drips and spills with those spinning scrub brushes able to scour off all but the most stubborn dried on stains, getting the floor I'd say about 98% clean. The Roborock Q Revo has adjustable water flow for the mopping so you can get a more thorough clean or protect hardwood floors by using less water. You can also adjust the frequency of the mop washing. If you want to clean your floors with more clean water, you can set this frequency to be more often. If you'd rather it just got through a mopping clean fast, you can set the time to take a bit longer between those mop cleaning cycles. In my opinion, Roborock floor cleaning bots are some of the best in the industry when it comes to avoiding hazards and obstacles, meaning they're more often able to fully complete a cleaning task without getting stuck. I had the same experience with this version with no stalls or entrapments. One of the greatest features of robot cleaning devices is the ability to set scheduled cleanings, and the QRevo is no different. Cleaning routines can be set in the app, meaning you have the freedom to choose which specific room or rooms you want cleaned at any given time. One of the more unique features of the QRevo is that Roborock says the bot will charge 30% faster at night or during off-peak hours. You can find the settings for this in Settings, Robot Settings, and look for Off-Peak Charging, then just switch it on to enable it. Overall, Roborock has created a solid floor cleaning robot that shaves hundreds of dollars off the price of other premium pots, yet still gives you almost all of the same features. It's easy to set up, easy to use, and super simple to schedule. It cleans extremely well on both carpet and hard floors, and it does a great job both vacuuming and mopping. I also think the design is quite nice and makes it look a little more like a device you don't need to hide away under a table or in a closet. So what are the downsides? In this one, I'm having a really hard time finding major negatives. Well, I guess some other robots do have dual vacuum rollers. This one doesn't suffer at all from having just a single one. And being without that sonic high-speed mop isn't a problem because that technology has been replaced with dual spinning mopping pads. In short, this is a great, useful, and capable robot vacuum and mop, and I can definitely recommend it for you. The Roborock Q Revo sells for about $8.99 US or $1,200 Canadian, and you can get it from Roborock or from Amazon. If you want to check out some other vacuum and mopping robots, I have reviewed plenty. Check out another Roborock version or see what Ecovacs is up to right now.